What we are the transaction? What we are the experience that transcended the transaction? That sealed the transaction? That consummated the transaction? Experience number one. Jesus was beaten. Jesus was not only beaten, he was battered. Battered beyond recognition. He was beaten. And that beating was to establish our guilt. That beating and battery was to establish our condemnation. So, that was what we were due for. That was meant to be our destiny. But Jesus came to deliver us. So that means he had to take our charge upon him. Jesus came guiltless. He committed no crime. He was so innocent. He was non-violent. Even when they were speaking against him, he couldn't answer a word. That innocent Jesus took our place in battery. Took our place in beating took our place to be beaten and battered beyond recognition. What does that mean? That means if the consequence of our sin and iniquity was battery and Jesus took our place and was battered, that means there is no longer consequence that the devil has right over us anymore because the battery consequence has been taken care of by Jesus Christ. Number two, he was stripped naked. They removed his clothes. And that was what we were qualified for. That was what we were meant to be subjected to. But Jesus came and took our place in nakedness. Took our place in reproach. Took our place in, 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 in shame. He was stripped of his royalty. He was stripped of his dignity. He was stripped of his right. So that there is no nakedness agenda that the devil has against you that can stand anymore. There is no indignif lack of dignity agenda that the devil has against you that can stand anymore. They stripped him naked so that you can have dignity intact. Number three, they forced a crown of thorn on his head. That gave him head injury. And that is the reason for migraine. So all the headache, why did that happen? That happened so that every head related sickness, Jesus took it. Your migraine was taken by that. Your headache was taken by that. Your confusion was taken by that. Your, your madness, insanity was handled by that. Anything that has to do with the head, Jesus handled it when they forced that crown of thorn on his head. That means you have no business with any hair related injury. So that means anytime you feel symptom, tell the devil, you symptom, you have been paid for. What are you looking for? You are not permitted to pay for what has been paid for. If Jesus paid, then the payment was not cancelled. The payment still stands. And if the payment stands, I have no right to pay for what Jesus paid for. Number four, they mocked him and made him an open shame and reproach so that the devil will not have legal rights against you to reproach your life number five he gave up the ghost he laid down his life at the young age of 33 and a half he physically took our place in death at his young and useful and useful age so that we can die fulfilled in long life are you aware that when Jesus died, Jesus had no wife. When Jesus died, Jesus had no child physically. So he did that. He made that sacrifice so that you will not die in singleness. So that you will not die in barrenness. So that you can have results, your replacement seed before you, you go. What must I do to partake in the transaction? What must I do to be a candidate of that transaction? Give him your life. The price for everything has been paid for. But there is what to do to enjoy what has been paid for. What do you have to do? Accept him. 